Europa League wrapping up its quarterfinal round on Tuesday. Shakhtar Donetsk advances. Sevilla beating Wolves 1-0. 88th minute goal from Lucas Ocampos. The winner, Raul Jimenez, missing a penalty for Wolves in the first half. For more, we welcome in Stuart Robson, Steve Nickel, and Gab Marcotti. Guys, let's leave the penalty and the surrounding controversy aside for just a second. Robbo, did the better team win this match? Absolutely. Wolves tried to play on the counter-attack. They only had about 25% possession and they got what they deserved in. And yes, they defended well. They played five at the back. The three centre-halves dealt with most of the crosses that came in. But it, you just felt it was only going to be a matter of time before Sevilla opened them up or got a good cross into the box. There was a clever bit of movement in and around the box that they were going to win. And I thought the best side won. Sevilla are a much better team than Wolves at the moment. Stevie, certainly with the penalty miss, they've let themselves down. Did Wolves leave, leave themselves down even more with today's performance? I think they were disappointed in the way they set up. You know, they were far too deep. It's, it's one thing to to defend and play in the counter, but it's another thing when you're actually inside your own penalty area half the time. So so in order to get up the other field, it's a long, long way. And, and, and at times, it kind of looked like a schoolboy team where, OK, we'll have, we'll have nine guys defend and you two up front, especially the fast guy. We'll give it to you and then you go and finish the game off. I mean, yes, they got the penalty with that, that whole move. But other than that, I, I was very disappointed, uh, certainly how deep they were, that's for sure. Gab, uh, just real quick on Sevilla, Julian Lopetegui, a frequent punching bag on this show. He rebuilding his brand as a manager with these results? Uh, yeah, although, guys, can we show Sevilla some love too? I mean, they've won this competition enough times. This is their house. And uh, I thought they played very well against Roma. and. Uh, uh, played very well against Wolves again. I mean, Wolves, who I didn't think were great against Olympiacos either, evidently running out of gas after a long season. Yeah, I'll come back right to you on the VAR. and the. Go ahead, Stevie, go ahead. No, I think, listen, I think you've got to be honest. They were, Sevilla were great until the final third. Mm. I mean, when the goal went in, I was off my chair. I was sitting there going, this is good. This has got extra time written all over it. Listen, if it, if Sevilla think that they're going to win this tournament with Cerisi up front and and Suzo and Ocampos, I mean, they never looked like scoring. And that's the truth. From back all the way to the final third, they were great. And they absolutely outplayed Wills. So they deserve credit for that. But I'll tell you what, you talk about a team that looks weak up front. They certainly did today. Yeah. Well, you're playing a team that, as you guys pointed out, um, has set up to counterattack and has got a lot of guys deep. I'm not saying Sevilla are, are, are the second coming of, of Hungary 1954, but, um, <laughs> you know, they were given the ball. Wolves left them the ball and they did as much, much as they could and Wolves defended and, and eventually, you know, and eventually Sevilla broke through. I mean, I, I, I think, you know, this is a team that, that there's a reason why they've done so well in this competition, not just this year, but, but in recent seasons as well. Bravo, quick word on Sevilla. Yeah, I thought the two weaknesses, I mean, they're good players, but the two fullbacks had the freedom of the park because the way that Wolves were set up, five at the back, three in midfield, two up front, the fullbacks were Sevilla, should have done more. They got into good areas and then went back and went square again. They were the players that could have opened up Wolves with good crosses, whipped in behind, better balls into the front players and linked up. They were the two that really, I, they're good players, but they just let themselves down on the night because they kept them playing square and backwards rather than getting crosses in. Gal, let's talk about this penalty miss, really the VAR miss. Uh, some dispute whether Sevilla's goalie's foot was on the line or not, Bunu, but uh, no disputing that the Sevilla player that ends up clearing the miss is encroaching into the penalty area. Like, how does VAR miss this? This is the exact thing they got to catch, right? Yeah, this is, this is kind of mysterious to me because, and again, just to remind people, uh, if he encroaches and then doesn't get involved, then it's not a problem. But obviously here, um, he obviously encroaches and clears the ball uh, as well. I, I don't know. And, and this is why I think it would be good. And I always say this, I'm a big fan of transparency. You know, just tell us, say, uh, what happened? Oh, look, I got it wrong. Stuff happens. And let's move on. Stevie, uh, Nuno Espiritu Santo said after the match, nothing can be done. Obviously, taking the high road, you can respect it. You've been a manager. Would you be that diplomatic? I think I would be, considering the way that uh, if my team had played that way, you know, listen, if if the, the roles had been reversed um, and I was Sevilla's manager and I'd had a penalty like that that was disallowed and, and lost the game, I would be angry. But I don't think 
Santo really can say too much. Uh, yes, it should have been retaken, uh, but we are, of course, we are, of course, talking as if had it been retaken, he would have scored because if he would played the second one as badly as he had the first one, Jimenez, then he might not have scored with it either. Robbo, Wolves have the right to feel hard done here? Yeah, of course they do. Not in terms of the result, but in terms of the penalty. It's the wrong decision by the VAR. I think he was looking at the goalkeeper, whether he came out or moved off his line, and stopped looking at what he should have been looking at as the two players or three players that came into the box. One of them headed it away. They were two, maybe a yard, two yards inside the box. It needs to be retaken. So, yeah, hard done by for the penalty, not hard done by in terms of the result. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.